thank you to Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co. for sponsoring this video. Now, before we get started, I have a surprise for you. A surprise that some of you may not care about and say, where is my reactions, anime man? Hold up. If you don't care about this sponsored bit, but you'd like to support me, try to pursue this YouTube thing full time, check out the comments. The pinned comment will say discount code KAKA. $5 off for your first purchase from Tokyo Treat and Sakura. Okay, that's right. We have a milestone in our channel. Our first sponsorship on YouTube. Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co. were nice enough to send us free packages for us to check out. For those of you that don't know what they are about, they basically want to invite everyone to experience Japan from the comfort of their own home through the snack box. Tokyo Treat is a monthly pop Japanese snack subscription box. You'll get up to 20 of exclusive limited edition and seasonal flavor Japanese snacks that are only available in Japan for a limited time. Sakuraku, on the other hand, is a monthly authentic Japanese snack subscription box that supports local Japanese snack makers. Each box comes with 20 traditional, authentic, and artisan Japanese snacks, including Japanese teas and a special Japanese tableware. These gift boxes all have a monthly theme that rotates. For example, the ones that I've been given are for the New Year's theme. Now, they're not available anymore, but going into February, we will have the Valentine's theme available for you guys. Great for gifts. Now, let's check out the New Year's Tokyo treat box that I got. Look at all these snacks. Do I know what they say? I don't care. They taste good. Hey, I can read the Kit Kat though. I think the highlight of this box is the deep fried mochi and the white and red Kit Kat. While Tokyo Treat focuses a little bit more on the snack side, Sakura Co. is unique in the sense that it partnered up with the Hiroshima government to bring a unique box of delicacies and cultural treasures. Emphasis on cultural treasures. Probably the highlight of this box is the artisan Japanese snacks, including Japanese teas and the special Japanese tableware. Remember, these guys are all about the local business. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you're still here, I applaud you with everything I got because let's get serious. Who gives a, you know, about sponsor segment? If I click on a YouTube video and I see a sponsor of that, I skip. I ain't nobody got time for your Raid Shadow Legends code. However, if you're still here, and if you'd like to support this small channel, we've recently been growing at a pretty decent rate. I was even able to hire an editor thanks to all the growth and the support that you guys have given me. And this goal of pursuing content creation full time feels a little bit more realistic. And sponsorships like this, the fact that I'm able, and able to secure them despite being a man child just watching anime in my empty apartment just yelling at a mic, this is a huge milestone for me. And if you guys actually would like to get a gift for your loved ones, February's coming up, Valentine's coming, you know what that means? My Giga Chad community members surely has a bunch of girlfriends and boyfriends that would appreciate a gift. So even if this doesn't interest you personally, I think they make for great gifts. Now, use the discount code KAKA for $5 off of your first purchase. And now let's get back to our regular scheduled content. All right, the Steel Fang Lycan. So deadly that we had a cliffhanger last episode. Don't! Okay, wait, wait. Oh, oh, oh. What? what the? Did you see that? Wait, all the strength that we poured in. Hold up. Oh, oh. get. I see that. Get. Okay, get. All them strength of going to his dumpy. Oh, one punch! Actually, one punch. Yo, yo, those strength points investment is working out! Ooh, oh, 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 oh. And cliffhanger. Come on, repeated consecutive punches. If you're just gonna be one punch man, do something like that. Or, or just run. Wait, does he not have potions and shit? Weapon. Do you have Mr. You have Mr. Kim's sword. Mr. Kim's sword, right? Oh! Hey, what the fuck? Yo, drawing this... Okay, so you yell inventory, then this shows up, this item menu. And then you can... Something about this, dude. Like, this is a basic ass so we're drawing from the inventory, but this already looks like we're summoning like a legendary weapon. Look at this shit. Mr. Kim's $2,000 short. Okay. Right in half? I think so. It's Mr. Kim's sword, bro. Yeah, 3 million as in 2,000 USD. I think that's like the, the comparison, like the conversion, right? He fucking ditched us, but we got his sword. 
Wait, what did you say? The pain is what? Oh, there's more likeness now, actually. The pain's fading. He has self regen? What? What can I? Okay, his wound's just gone. Alright, he can kind of heal or something, and he's. What do you mean it's stuck? You should be strong! Okay. That's a little sloppy, but like, it does the job, wait! We're just beating the fuck out of these animals, dude. Someone called Peta, dude. I feel kind of bad for these wolves. The lichen. Yeah, it's nothing compared to the statues. Oh, he got scared! Pussy. Pussy ass. I'm sorry. It sounds, like, it sounds like a fucking dog running away in fear, man. I feel bad. Level 2. CCC? Job? None. Title? None. Fatigue level 2, but job implies that, hey, in like Maple Story, you get to level 10, you get to become like a warrior, thief, mage, you know, stuff like that. What class are we gonna be? Is like a title too? Interesting. Maybe after we clear this, it'll be like Lycan Slayer or something. Yeah, and the injuries are healing. Yeah, just farm them, level up, spend points. Oh yeah, we can. Do we get to loot the lichens? Yeah. Do they have essence stones? Like money? So regular hunters, they never were able to loot like fangs. Instead, they would just get like a core, but... Right now, we can get items? So, oh, okay. Can we sell these items? Uh, okay. Yeah, because like, the instance dungeon and the regular dungeons, there seems to be a clear distinction between the two. Wait, wait. NPC shop? <laughs> we can't, but we can sell items like that? Oh, this is so efficient, you know? Your bag gets full. You, know, you don't want to pick all these fucking loot up. We can just sell immediately. This is nice. Straight up, we're just fucking doing merchant thing. Nice, 10 gold, eh. How does the gold translate to our Korean won or like USD? Hold on, how much money is this actually? Hold up. Is it E rank though? I feel like it might be worth quite a bit, dude. That's right, we gotta like clear everything to actually get out. See, here, here again, they make a distinction right here in the beginning, right, when we enter. You can either leave the dungeon by clearing the dungeon or using a teleportation stone. But what other mechanic have we seen from this anime that lets us teleport? It's when we don't do our fucking daily quest. So what happens if he didn't do his daily quest and he would just sit in here while he's clearing the instance dungeon? Would we get ported fucking out and back in? I feel like that is such an important mechanic that can be abused, right? Can a gate breakout also happen from this instant? Bro's gonna spend like 8 hours just farming the fucking instance dungeon so that he can fight the boss like overpowered. <laughs> Smart, yeah, I would- I mean, if you think about it, if you just die here, then you're done. So I would do everything I can to fucking farm these little shitty ass goblins and level up. 100%, I- I would be so cautious about this, dude. Uh-oh, more lichens. Oh, that's a lot of them. Oh, that's, 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 that's actually a lot. Wait, hold up. We got an AOE attack or what? Yo, our boy's developing! Look at this! He's charging in! And like, even this, even if this is like a low-level fight, the animation is crispy. This lady's fucked up. She let us pass, even in the regular E rank is supposed to be like power level 70. We were at 10. This lady was like, oh yeah, it's totally fine. You can go in there, sure. No, you can't. But things are changing now, bro. Yo, he's actually smiling. Yo, he's straight up getting a high from this. Like, I'm growing. I'm leveling. Yo. The voice acting is really great there. He's actually changing. Title, <laughs> Wolf Assassin. I'm not sure if that's a cool title or not, but hey, we'll take it. Are they going to shit on the hunters again? <laughs> Dude, again! These pedestrians are just so pissed off at the hunter. They're just so annoyed. It's like that fucking gate again. Last episode, too. They're like, where the fuck is our taxpayer money going, these fucking shitty ass hunters? How many times did we level up? Oh. Wolf Assassin. Title given to those skilled at hunting wolves. Makes sense. <laughs> All abilities 40% against animal type monsters. All right. We got like attributes, stipending of specific monsters better. Plus 40% is kind of huge, isn't it? What the fuck? That's insane, actually. 
There's also like a potion tab up there, so I guess we do have potions. Oh, we got a teleportation stone, so we can just leave. I would try to be as cautious as possible, because what happens if you enter a boss battle and you're not ready for it, right? Can we just leave and just come back? You know, in Diablo, you just teleport out, you put the tele in the portal there, you go out, and you sell your stuff, you can do other shit, come back in. Can we? Nah, we'll probably get more instance dungeons, right? It will advantage or will it stay here? I don't know. We gotta test it. I would just continue to farm these like lichens that I feel comfortable killing just to like grind and grind to the point where it gets a little bit too hard to level up, then think about porting out and maybe coming back in to beat the boss. I don't know. I'd be very cautious about this. Susume. Forward! I don't know which direction this is. Is this forward or back? I actually don't know. The, the relative positioning of that was weird. Anyways, with Juhi. What's going on with this girl? Wait, wait, dungeon break? Actual dungeon break? Maybe it's the same gate from the middle of the street. There's a, there's a dungeon break? Wait, 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 wait. But Juhi got that PTSD. But she did see, you know, Sung Jin Mu like, work out. So maybe she's inspired to move forward. Oh, we're fucking just killing monkeys now? All right. So many different monsters. All right. Dude, that sword is hanging on its for life. Oh, like if you, you ever play World of Warcraft, you know, like the monsters, like their titles or something, you know, it'll be red if you know that it's like too high level to beat. Before it was red. Now it's white. So we've obviously gotten much stronger. So this is a good cue. If we just walk around and see a monster that's like red name, we'd be like, maybe we should back out for a bit. Orange is like roughly equal. Red is like, don't try to fight it. Oh, maybe the lichens weren't red, but maybe it was the centipede that was red last time, my bad. Oh, we're gaming! We're gaming! What's, what's down there? The boss? The perception can feel that this is a boss layer and we shouldn't fuck around. Okay. Should we go down there? Maybe we should teleport out. Oh, damn. We're already level 15. But still, no job, huh? And there's a fatigue meter too, which I fucking hate. Strategically, we should get out. Oh, 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 uh. All right, fuck it, we ball. Uh oh. Oh! Wait, wait, wait. That was really cool. Something about that felt CGI, but it wasn't. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Boom! Well, that was some cool camera work. We don't got a weapon anymore, man. What are we gonna do? Yeah, yeah. At this point, I'm spamming teleportation. I don't care. I'm running teleportation stone. Get me the fuck out of here, dude. Oh, orange is actually doable. Wait, o o orange is doable. Wait, wait. We're just gonna bare hand this fucking snake? What? What are we gonna do? Ooh. I don't know, you need another weapon, bro! Bro, this is so scuffed, we have no weapon! As soon as we enter the boss scene to- Ooh. He said that if I hate, take this hit, I'll die, right? So obviously his vitality is going up, his durability is way higher. He's actually way tougher than you think he can be. Maybe he can do this, dude. Maybe we're underestimating him, just like he's underestimating himself. Huh? Oh, it's slow motion right now, slow motion right now. You know, it would've been really cool if he just fucking stopped that train like... You know, but we're not really at that main character level yet. Not just yet. Damn! Can you hear the fucking emotion from his voice acting? Before it makes up for a life spent being a laughing stock. Oh, that fucking hurts because even in the beginning, dude, he was totally fine with it. He was people talking shit. He was fine, but he was building it up. The, yeah, the voice actor really is cooking, dude. I mean, people are saying that he like was coughing up blood during episode two. He is going all fucking out. Dude, this guy's resume is going to be cracked in the future. You know he's going to get so many different roles just because of this one role in solo leveling. <laughs> Don't off-screen this. Don't off-screen this! Wait, backstory, backstory. You probably came up with the nickname yourself, Mr. Song. I'm kidding. Mr. Song is a good guy. See, he's a good guy. He's a good guy. I like him. 
わかりましたうん。Can we really main character our way out of this? Bro is just like talking to himself to the snake. The snake's like, yo, I don't care about you. I don't understand what you're saying. <laughs> Sung Jing and Mu just has him monologuing this entire time while getting beat up. <laughs> this, I've been called the weakest hunter all my life. Snake slaps him. Oh, <laughs> no more. Will I live like this? Oh. It's like the snake is like, I don't care. <laughs> what are you doing, bro? Come on, fight back. <laughs> He can't understand you, but okay. <laughs> Fucking these back, these flashbacks are so jarring. I thought you were gonna pop off right there. Look at this though. What was that? What? I've never heard voice acting like that before. That sounded so weird, right? Like not, not, we, not weird as in not bad. That was like, whoa. Yeah, we did get the eye thing, but his voice got like deeper for a second, right? Like, holy fuck, what was that? Power is everything, yeah. Yo, more inner monologue. Oh my god, he's going off, dude! <laughs> Bro is fucking yapping, but it is so epic! Dude, the inner monologue is so good! Cameraman, what are you doing, bro? You can't be focusing there all this time. What you... The cameraman has been very sus this episode. A lot of Sung Jin Woo Gyat scenes, but what is this? Okay. All right. Wait. He's glowing. Wait, main character power is activating? Okay, wait. This is the first time. Wait, his face changed. Because I've been looking for a moment where he slowly starts to change into the K-pop idol face. I think it, 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 it's, it's his hair is being like more upright, but it's, it's without the sides. But for the first time, I feel like his face got a little bit more, you know, just like look maxed, right? Are you sure? Are, don't you think he changed? Sure, his bangs are up and then maybe the angle is kind of in a different way that makes him look different. But I feel like this is the moment where he's starting to change, right? And what is his aura? And he's back. Yo, I love how he keeps remembering from back then. Yo, this ain't solo leveling. This is solo mewing. Wait, no weapon. No weapon. Barehanded? Barehanded? Dude, he's actually winning barehanded! Yo, this is insane! Maybe it was good to fucking max out our strength, dude! Did Bro literally figure out that he doesn't need a sword? Well, the sword got knocked away, but he gripped him. He just fucking gripped him. Look at this. Look at this. He breaks the shell with his bare hand, so Bro was truly underestimating his own power. Holy shit. He did way better without the sword. The sword was a fucking bait. We were using a weak ass fucking broke. You know in games when the durability of a weapon gets like low to the point where it just start doesn't like less damage? I'm pretty sure that's what it was. The sword was just fucking trash, dude. Dude, he hit the fucking pillar there. A little bit of a nosebleed. Gets right back into it. And this right there, this is straight up from the trailer. I recognize this. I reckon this face right here. This is straight from the trailer, right? This sequence right here, look at the animation, it changed, right? Look at the way they draw stuff. I don't even know what to call this, but you can tell that the animation changed. I love this. Bro does got the grippers. Shit. Bro actually won barehanded. The scream was crazy. The monologue was crazy. The build up to this. Yo, this is pretty fucking hype. Level up, level up. I wonder if that aura means anything, cause like obviously like the aura showed up, he looked cool for a second, then he went in barehanded. I wonder if the aura somehow like boosted him. What does that really mean? Who knows? 
a little bit stronger? Bro, two episodes ago, no, one episode ago, you were a little bit struggling with goblins, okay? And then, and then an episode before that, we were definitely struggling with goblins. And we just beat this fucking sea serpent. I think we've gotten incredibly stronger. What rank do you think he guy do you guys think he is right now? Right? No amount of E rank hunters could do this. D rank? C rank? D or C maybe? Yeah? I don't know, but I feel like if the people came in with a device and measured his power, he might be like way stronger than before. You defeated a king of the swamp, blue venom fang kasaka. Okay. Everyone's saying C, C, D, C, B plus. <laughs> you got low C. <laughs> All right, okay, we're gonna start power scaling saying mid C, low C, high C. Did he just low diff this? Did he just mid diff this? Oh God, the power scalers are here. Look at that dagger. Dagger made from the venom fang. Paralysis, opponent cannot move for a set time. Oh, we can fucking paralyze people and it's like corrosive HP minus 1% one, one second. That's actually crazy. That implies if you just wait out a hundred seconds after using this, it's just done. That is not fucking insane. C rank weapon. And if we can equip it, then we gotta be C rank? Doubles the power of Mr. Kim's sword and has extra effects. Should we sell it for mom's hospital bills? Or should we just keep this, guys? Should we just keep this? Yeah, maybe we should just keep this. It's a dagger though, yeah? What is this? It's a venom gland. A rank acquisition difficulty, poison, Kasaka's armor scales, physical damage minus 20%, damage muscle, strength minus 35. This pouch contains refined po poison. On rare occasions, you can harvest this from Kasaka, meaning you can just continually farm this thing, maybe. Once you drink it, your skins harden, but your muscles will be permanently damaged from the po- What is the point of this thing? Wait, so like, your muscle gets just- it sounds like such a shitty deal. Like, sure, you get, like, your skin's hardened, but your internally just fucking gets damaged? <laughs> Fuck that! And everything just disappears. And... That's it? The system is just so mysterious. It just clears. Everything is just gone. And, you know, regular pedestrian just walking around like nothing ever happened. Like, what the fuck? All right, whatever. Is it? What about the gate break? What happened to the gate break? Do soldiers actually do shit in this show, like military police? Because, like, I don't know. I feel like, can they actually help us fight the monsters? If there's, like, a monster break, like a dungeon gate, could, could they actually do something? Guns don't do shit, though. Guns never work. <laughs> Are you hunted, by the way? My apologies, then. Please, let me shoot at the battle. <laughs> I wonder what Sungjin was thinking. He's like, fuck. I just finished risking my life for this instance dungeon. You're gonna show me to a different gate? No, no, let the other people do it. What the fuck? I'm tired. He just walked. Me, you know what I would have done? I'd be like, nah, I'm good. I'm gonna go the other way. You got other hunters, right? Holy shit. Monsters are actually out. Sorry, dungeon break. I keep calling it a gate break. One big one left. Oh? Oh, perception. So that's what perception does. Intuition kind of senses. Wait! Maybe a good time to use our new dagger, dude! <laughs> no pictures, please! This is very dangerous! Everyone's like, ain't nobody got time for that! I gotta fucking take this for my Snapchat! Look at that monster! Yo, maybe these fucking monkeys deserve to get stepped on, man. Maybe Ghetto was right. They're not taking this seriously at all! Like, this team's walking towards you! They're all just like... <laughs> what are you doing?! Oh god, they are fighting for their lives. <laughs> the life of a fucking tank, dude. Just out there pulling aggro, doing everything. Fucking loving the boss mechanics. Where is my fucking DPS? They're on the floor. They're already dead. Fucking useless. That's why you'll see that the most toxic people in MMO settings are usually like healers or tanks because they're so like cynical because of like useless DPS always fucking up. So they get to the point where they just think everyone is trash because technically they are. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> this poor tank. <laughs> Come on, do something. Yo, let's use your new Kasaka knife. Jinmu, get in there. Yo, he's actually talking so cool now. Something has changed. Some, this is the episode where he just fundamentally changed. Even the way he's talking right now, what does like perceptive look? Something about this already feels so cool, right? I don't know. 
No. This right here. <laughs> Low ranks too. <laughs> you were ignorant an episode ago. <laughs> this poor tank dude, please. <laughs> Useless DPS. Useless. Healers taking way too long to heal right over here. These two fucking goons aren't doing shit, dude. Wait, wait, Juhi! Juhi can't do anything because she's paralyzed with fear. Maybe this is a good time for Sungjimu to jump in and flex. Flex, go in there! Even the healers and shit talking to each other. Oh! Oh, that was kind of scary, actually. Dude. Oh! Oh! You guys ever see this angle? Right, not this angle, right? <laughs> this is like whenever something shit goes down, right? The camera angle where it's like right above, right over here. So you're like, ooh! <laughs> Bro, get in there. I'm different now. Oh! You can do it! You, you have a C-rank weapon now, let's go! Sung Jimu! He's there! Just throw? Bro, all those strength points! Oh! Dude, did anyone even realize what just happened? That was so fucking cool. He's like, could I? Oh! Breaks the defense! Go in! We? <laughs> we? <laughs> we? <laughs> Some Jimu just clutched so hard, broke the defense. These people have fucking no idea, right? Only the tank realized for a second. So watch Jinmu not even fucking like um take credit for this and walk away, huh? <laughs> Maybe he walks away and then Juhi will be like, <gasps> Jinmu, did you do this? And he's gonna be like, <laughs> as he fucking disappears into the darkness. <laughs> Bro, we threw away Mr. Kim's sword at the end there too. The sword, dude! Well, technically, it was fucking like 8 E ranks, so they're not really 10 people, right? Could you even consider them 10 people, anyways? Where's Jinmu, dude? Where's Jinmu? Mr. Kim's sword. Rest in peace. Dude, this is what I'm talking about. The fucking world building. The fact that other people are gonna start to acknowledge how strong this guy is. Right now, we're only on episode 4. We were just a fucking E rank an episode ago. But already, we do something so crazy, other people are like, what incredible power. Who could have possibly done this, oh, dude? Great. This is exactly the core of what we love the power fantasy. So he just walks away, dude. Yo, yo. My man been fucking the forearms are looking real nice. What is this? Damn. They keep the cameraman just keeps showing his dump truck too, but look at this forearm, man. We just need a haircut now. He's changing. He's for sure changing. Was the golem weakened though? Or is he underestimating his own power, right? Who knows? Keeps it a little bit ambiguous. Did he actually do everything there? Or was it already weakened? I'd like to believe the golem was at 100% HP. And then he just fucking took it down in one shot. Weakened it. Just broke the fucking poise. You know, defense break, all that shit. And then everyone else that's did a little bit damage, 10% chip damage. And they're like, oh, we defeated it. <laughs> oh! The one person that's... Well, Mr. Soldiers are seeing this too, but bro just disappears in the darkness. <laughs> He's so cool now. <laughs> and Chewie's gonna be like, <gasps> Chewie, was that you? <laughs> yeah. I feel so bad for this girl, because you know she's gonna get fucking replaced by Cha Yin. I mean, the anime, the fucking anime director's decided, like, you know what? Even if Cha Yin doesn't show up till later, just put her in immediately. Chewie's already fucking, you know, power crept. No cliffhanger! What an episode! They could have straight up gave us the shittiest fucking cliffhanger at the end. No post credit scene, right? They could have gave us the most shittiest cliffhanger right over here. You know what they could have done? They could have done this. They could have done this? Cliffhanger. Could you fucking imagine? If they gave us a cliffhanger at this sequence? Oh my god. People would be so fucking mad. But goddamn. This episode, I didn't think that... After episode one and two, which were well, episode two was like pretty much like the, the hype, right? It was so ridiculously hype. What an intro, right? I didn't think that we would be able to match that hype already, but this episode, 
we had two waves of it. I thought that the peak of this episode was basically versus the Poison Venom Casca guy, right? I thought that was it. And like, okay, he got a new weapon. Cool. He did a really great thing. His voice acting was crazy. He's talking about how he's tired of being a fucking weakling. He was even kind of scared to go in, but he pushed forward because it's like, I don't know. What if I keep farming? What if I can't get out of here? He commits to the boss fight. He fucking wins barehanded, by the way. And he gets to loot. And I thought at this point, after his declaration of I'm going to change, I'm going to become stronger. I thought that that was the hype moment, but it's like, no, the true power fantasy happens when other people can see because like, yes, fighting the venom snake is pretty cool, but like a power fantasy, the, the best part of it is when other people witness what you did. Now, other people didn't really win this, but you, he did, right? That's the most important thing. I love this. I can already see how they're going to build up for the future. Everybody's witnessing. Parties are going down. Because if only we had a high rank hunter around and Sung Jin Woo just fucking shows up. He's, he's too fucking cool. And he's already kind of changing. Everybody's calling him Sung Drip Woo, dude. I know we only have the Adidas tracksuit right now, but goddamn, bro is changing. He's glowing up. He's going to get a haircut pretty soon. He's going to get different drip. And oh, dude, next couple episodes. And like, you know, this is, this is just the beginning. This is just the fucking beginning. Imagine what's going to happen in these future arcs. Even the stuff like the intro of episode one, like the fucking Chimera Antark of this series, right? <laughs> This show is fucking getting too hype, but hey, if you're still here, if you'd enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content, and until next time, take care.